George Kenneth Griffey Jr. Ken Jr. The kid. Holy cow! The kid is up. A five-tool center fielder whose sweet swing and winning smile helped define a new age for baseball's popularity. I started collecting in the late '80s probably 1989. Family was always going to flea markets and we we either set up booths there or shopped there because we owned an antique shop and a country store. So I remember checking out the baseball cards all the time and Ken Griffey Jr. was the hotness. So when I did open cards, baseball cards, it was the Ken Griffey Jr. hunt. He was the guy, he was the one everybody was looking up to in my age group and I accumulated some of his cards throughout the years, but very few. And I remember 1989 Upper Deck was different and it was almost unaffordable. I know that sounds weird because it's, I think it was around a buck a pack, something like that, but everything else was less 45, 50 cents a pack. But that Ken Griffey Jr. card, the Upper Deck, was one that I never had one. It was, it was like the unaffordable card. They were pretty expensive even back in the day, even though they produced so much. This series is all about trying to get the cards that I couldn't afford and that I didn't even know existed back in the day. I wanna share with you my Ken Griffey Jr. card collection from when I was a kid, the 89 Don Ross. And I still have it in the original case with the $8 marked on it. And you know what? It's actually not in that bad of condition. It's not that bad. I would, I might even consider turning this in if, it's a, if there's a possibility of getting a 10, but look at it, it's pretty centered, not bad. So the rated rookie always sticks out in my mind to this day because of this card. Because this was one of my better cards in my collection growing up. The, the $8 Don Ross Ken Griffey Jr. It was a different era. And the, I, st I, had un I had more. I also had the Fleer. I mean, it's, just look at that thing. Five bucks on that one. And that was another pride and joy. This is the original top loader I added in. How about the 90 cup card? I, that's why to this day, I love the cup cards because of this card. Look at, you can see his tape job on the bat too. That's awesome. And I also had the, the Frank Thomas of this year, the 90 tops, the 1990 tops. So why are they, why do I still have these cards in their original case? It's not because I'm lazy. It's not because I am cheap. It's because of the nostalgia. It's the connection to the past that I think a lot of collectors feel. They wanna have a connection to their childhood, to their youth, to a time of innocence, to a time when they remember maybe not being able to afford certain cards, certain packs. When you get to be a little bit older, a little more financially secure, stable, some collectors wanna go back in time and relive their youth, experience what they missed out on. And that's what this Ken Griffey Jr. Chase is all about for me. It's about trying to go back in time, connect with my past and achieve and accomplish something that I never could. And I want to explain to you why these cards are collectible, why they're so sought out, why they're so desirable. And we're going to do our own chase 32 years later.